Coming up on Around Kern County, the fire department wants to make sure you celebrate Thanksgiving safely. We're sharing their tips and tricks on how to deep fry a turkey. And the Holiday Cottage is officially open. How you can donate to a foster child in need when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Allie Soper. We're less than a week away from Thanksgiving and the Kern County Fire Department wants to make sure you enjoy your holiday safely. KCFD wants our community to know if you're planning to deep fry a turkey, it's important to take precaution and be mindful of your setup. There are just so many things that could go wrong if individuals aren't being mindful about what they're doing. You typically, when you're cooking in your household, you don't have that much hot oil in your home. That's usually something that would be in a commercial kitchen. So now you have this hot oil that's cooking that could catch fire. You have hot oil that could tip over and that could start another fire or could burn someone terribly. So individuals need to be mindful that, yes, the product is gonna be enjoyable, everyone's gonna have a nice turkey to enjoy, but it is more dangerous than typically just boiling some water for some pasta or something in your kitchen. It has more hazards that come along with it, so individuals need to be mindful that there are those hazards, they're easy to work around, there's things you can do to make sure it is done safely and acceptably, so please take those steps. Here's a few safety tips to remember ahead of the holiday. Number one, turkey fryers can easily tip over. Make sure yours is on a sturdy level surface and is at least 10 feet from your home. Number two, make sure you do not overfill your cooking pot so oil doesn't spill. And always fully thaw your turkey ahead of time before placing it into the pot. Number three, make sure to use a thermometer to keep track of your oil temperature and keep kids and pets away from the hot pot while the turkey is cooking. For more information, please visit kerncountyfire.org. You can now donate to the Department of Human Services 36th Annual Holiday Cottage. Community members are invited to fulfill Christmas wishes for local children in foster care by helping purchase their holiday gifts. Right now, you can sign up to make a child's Christmas wish come true by monetarily donating or directly purchasing their gift to make their holiday season a little brighter. So the Holiday Cottage is a program that the Department of Human Services started in 1987. So we've been doing it a long time and we want to make sure children in foster care know that we care about them and that they're not forgotten during the holidays, which can be a lonely time for them, not with their biological families, but it's a way for the community to connect and for them to know that somebody who doesn't even know them cares about them. To get involved, please visit kcdhs.org. The holidays are right around the corner and Kern County's workforce is coming together to help feed local families in need. Anna Marie Odo has the story. The Board of Supervisors proclaimed November and December as Kern County Cares Canned Food Drive Month. County staff are encouraged to collect non-perishable food items as well as monetary donations for the Golden Empire Gleaners to distribute canned food items to our community's most vulnerable. Last year, Kern County collected more than 132,000 pounds of food. This year, the goal is to reach 150,000 pounds of collected food. If you'd like to contribute or participate in a special charity golf tournament at the Kern River Golf Course, please contact the Kern County Department of Human Services or visit their website, kcdhs.org. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We hope you have a very happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>